So I love this look. I think it's a little offbeat and I think it's very powerful and it's for Halloween, but I honestly, I'm going to wear it out right now. So, <laughs> um, you can take it as you will. You can really do any other lip you want if this lip is a little too dark for you, but I do think it's kind of an interesting idea with the, um, the dark crease and the dark lip. And, um... This tutorial was requested, requested by two people that I do a flapper, and this is um, honestly the most creative flapper I could think of. So, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So, just to kick off the eye, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take Max Paradisco and my 217, and we're just going to do a wash over the eye. And the reason I picked this color is it's just a little bit brighter than a basic skin tone color. So what we're going to get with it is just a little bit of depth. Flapper eyes have a lot of depth to them. There's a lot of concentration in the crease. Not every flapper look is like a very deep, 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 heavy, heavy, dark um, eye. But the eyes make a statement, the skin makes a statement, and the lips make a statement. And we're just going to take the brush and instead of, um, you know, just smoking it out, I'm just going to be pulling the color down a little bit and sort of shaping it downward where the bottom of the base meets the eye. So what you can do is just put tape, not do it really so much at an angle, but just to place it kind of flat across the bottom of the eye there because they didn't really angle up the eye very much then. They had very just sort of deep sockets, which is commonly why you would see a lot of um, people on YouTube doing a very dense dark eye with a lot of dark tones, is because of how deep their eyes looked. So now I'm going to take Saddle by MAC, which is one of my new favorite warm browns. I'm going to take the 224, flick off the excess, and we're going to concentrate on that crease, just sweeping it across the crease and adding the depth. So now I'm just going to go in again and add just a little bit more depth with Saddle. I'm not doing any like concealer or anything under the eyes. It really just sort of helps add some depth and darkness to the look. We're also just going to take a little bit of corduroy from MAC and that same 224. What's kind of cool I like that I'm liking about Paradisco being on the lid is that it gives that nice sort of glossy sheen. And if you look at flappers, um, it, whether it's in black and white or in color, you can definitely see a little bit of a, of a sheen to their lid. And Paradisco has a nice sheen to it. So I think it's a Velux Pearl. So we're just going to sweep that into the outer crease and pull the color down just a little bit for just a little bit more depth because what you want again is the very round eye socket shape. I may or may not still have an older picture of me dressed as a flapper where I did a darker eye look like you would typically see on YouTube or anything like that, and it was just a very deep dark turquoise eye, but to be quite honest, I mean, they don't photograph very well, and honestly I think flappers photograph, photograph actually much more prettier than, um, than anything too black. So this is a very Hollywood starlit sort of glam, night, roaring 1920s flapper look. So I'm going to take Fascinating Eye Coal and go along the waterline. And this color is just going to brighten up that piece of the eye and make the eye, help the eye make uh, look bigger and in contrast the crease will look deeper. 
gonna get that all along the waterline. Now I'm going to take an angled brush. This is from Crown. I'm gonna take Black Track Fluid Line. And just dip my brush in there. This is a good alternative if you're not going to do like a black eye to do a very heavy liner. Because anytime I saw a neutral lid, there was always some still some concentration on the eye because I guess that was like the rebel thing to do to do some shadows. But not all the eyes I saw were all dark, some were lighter, but the idea was similar with some black eyeliner some eyeliner under the eye, a heavy crease, and that owl, that big eye, owl-like shape, big round eyes. So that is like a more neutral flapper eye. For skin, you really don't want it to be perfect and light and airbrushed, and you certainly don't want to see any imperfections. You really want much more of a concealed look, which is not today's look at all. So we're just going to go in, I've already placed some concealer, and you're just going to take a brush, it's going to give you a fairly heavy concentration and um, you can use anything from a medium to a heavy coverage foundation just as long as your brush can transfer it pretty heavily. What I also like about taking the translucent powder at the end of the mineralized skin finish is that it really takes away any tackiness from the face and just really sort of sets the makeup in. So for cheeks, we're going to take Max Mocha Blush, this is a matte shade and it's just sort of a darky pink color. And this is the shade that com this is the pink shade that commonly gets recommended for women with darker color as far as a pink shade for them. But it really looks beautiful on anyone. I'm just gonna take an 188. And I know a lot of people are gonna want to do the doll for the flapper, but I don't like the way it looks with my face shape. If you want to do the doll, be my guest. But I'm just gonna buff the rest of the color back onto the cheekbone. So for the upper lip, just make sure that the cupid's bow is nice and round and go into your lips and line and fill them in with Night Moth Lip Pencil from MAC or any deep burgundy current will work and I'm not wearing any lipstick right now. For lips, you can really do any sort of dark, bright, or bold statement that you want. You can do anything from um, MAC's Cherry to MAC's Red Enriched. You could top it off with Max Dubonnet uh, lipstick, um, Viva Glam One, uh, which is a brick red. You can go for more, you know, bold cherry red, of course, if you desire, like Heartless from Cruella. Um, or if you got Kittenish, which came out with the fabulous felines. But this color actually goes very sheer, transfers extremely sheer because it's a cream sheen. So I don't know that that would be what I would recommend, but if you were wanted to, to do a more play down burgundy lip, something like Kittenish would be good, but I'm, I don't want to do it played down. So we're going to go in with Film Noir, which is a satin lipstick from MAC. So just to polish it off and make the lip pop, I'm just going to go in with Naked Liner. and trim around the edges. And that'll also give a little bit of protection so the lip color doesn't bleed as easily. 